Hey everybody and welcome back to Dyson with Death. Georg, what do you do? You make it to the road, the screams of the dying behind you, long lost. The thought crosses my mind to go back and search the temple, but I have a feeling that that wraith will guard whatever it's set to guard. I don't, I don't know the specifics of this undead creature, but I can put two and two together. Now I think in the in the darkness or in the twilight, I start the two plus hour walk back to Misty Rapids. Okay. There's an almost full moon out that gives you plenty of light to walk by in this open we, area. We brief Neil and I briefly talked about this during the break about how I whether I could have killed that. If, things have gone differently. I, I really don't have enough combat potential, I don't think, to... You know, this is getting a little out of character, metagaming, but... Maybe you do, know, maybe you don't. Inter interprets it. Yeah, but I'm not sure how I would even go about oh. battling a creature from the n negative material plane. No idea how many hit points it has or what its bonus to hit is. Maybe it just got really unlucky with two of misses. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's lower level. Hmm. Anyway, every time there's a rustle in the shadow or a shadow crosses your path, I think you get a little spooked, but the journey back is not very eventful. I th oh, I guess I've got to pass through town to get to the keep, correct? Like, is there a yeah. road to the keep south out of town or something? Yeah, so the, there's a road, a trail, really, to the keep mm -hmm. from town. Okay. Um, you walk through town, you hear the people singing as they come out of the taverns and passing you on the road, jovial and happy, having no idea what horrors yeah. you just unleashed. I'm in a bit of a fog, rubbing my I'm I'm not even sure what horrors I just unleashed. I don't know if that creature will stay and guard the temple or if it's... I think I'm going to 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 the keep. Okay. Tell Lord Song what I what I've learned. By the time you get to the keep, it's well past the time any reasonable yeah. person is asleep. Mm -hmm. Um... Kel yeah, Crystal I'm isn't not... even guarding the gate. There is a, a just a footman on duty. Mm -hmm. A foot soldier on duty. A watchman, one might call him. He looks down and goes, Who goes there? Waving a torch from the, the wall what to get a better it? view of you. Well after midnight. Okay. I look up at him from underneath my gray hood and shout back, Ark Carl, uh, rouse the Baron if he's not already awake. It's urgent. And I, like, knock my staff against yeah. the... Is it a wooden mm -hmm. wooden gate? Yeah. Do, we comes... have a, do we have a moat? No. Uh, he comes down and opens the... Is it the... a palisade wall, or is it stone? Palisade. Ooh. Yeah. And it's just like a, is it like a... Or is it a gate? It's a gate, yeah. He comes down and opens the, the gate for you. Lets you in. As he does, so he gives you a good look up and down. Um, I, I think I've got my hood over my head, and I'm like squinting in the lantern. Okay. He head. tells you to go wake the Baron yourself. He's got to watch the gate. Uh, right. I in a respectful head, tone. Yeah, I have no idea where the Baron's bedchamber is. I head to the Great Hall first, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Um, is if it's dark, I'll light myself a. I mean, if it's like unseeable dark. I'll light myself a candle, but otherwise, I think I'm. Yeah, it's really dark once you're inside. There's all. No, I'm light. pretty spooked. I think I've had a torch. How long do torches last? Half hour. Only half hour, huh? Yeah. How long do candles last? Um, ten minutes per inch. God, how many do we have candles? Like six inches. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I, I've probably been burning candles. Well. It's hey. hard to walk with a candle. You okay. know, it blows out pretty easy. Um. And maybe I'm, I think I'm just hanging out in the dark then. The keep I'm... is quiet. You don't know where the Baron is. You don't really see anyone on duty. I think maybe now more than ever it sinks in how small the Baron's forces are. That mm -hmm. they've got one man on watch at night and that's it. Mm -hmm. There's not even anyone walking around. You don't see any servants. You don't. It's so strange. Yeah. Everywhere else you've been, there have been, you know, enough people to really fortify a, a place. And you, you wouldn't just be able to walk into a building and not have anyone take notice. But this place is empty. It's desolate. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So do I? I have no idea where his bedchamber is. Is there a second story? Uh, no. You did visit him in his bedroom once. Okay. Once where upon a time. There? Okay, out of character then. I it's upstairs, know. yeah. I vaguely recall it. But you... Okay. Alright, yeah. so I guess I head up the stairs. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe it wasn't his bedchamber. Maybe it was a war room. But you met him upstairs in a different room with Kel Greller once. Okay. Um, anyway, you, you search around and eventually... You know, you're gonna, at some point, you're just going to have to start knocking on doors. Because it was a war room, not a, not a bedroom. Yeah, I guess I pick a door and knock. I try to pick the most like auspicious door. If there's like one a bigger, uh, there's a double door. If there's a door <laughs> at the end of a hallway. I don't know. I start somewhere. All right. Knock, knock on it with my staff. Uh, hey, look at that! Uh, you actually find his room on the first shot. Lucky Georg. Uh, yeah, you find this door is there kind a better of better way to, to refer to a baron. Your bit, your baron. Your I kept your, I said my liege. My liege. Okay, my liege. I kept saying my lord, and you said that, and you corrected me. So, oh, or I didn't keep saying. That's what I get to. Maybe. Um, yeah. I mean, it would be weird to call him Lord Song. Yeah. Okay. It would. You'd call him Baron Song, but you could call him my lord or my liege. Okay. Or you wouldn't use my grace, but you could use. Okay. Yeah, my eminence, if you really wanted to be fancy. Okay, so then I, I probably was committing a faux pas or whatever. Mm -hmm. When I said Lord Song earlier. Yeah. In character, I probably still said it. But anyways, I knock on the door, which I guess by chance happens to be him. Yeah. Uh, my liege, uh, I, are, you, are you awake? The door opens. You see a half-dressed Baron Song standing before you with a long sword in his what, hand. What do his nightclothes look like? Um, kind of like long white robes, like a, a nightgown, basically. He's got a long sword. What? How does the Lord Song look in his nightclothes? Is he a, is he a stout man? Like, does he does he look scary within the in the night with his long sword and white robes? Or um, after the things that I've seen tonight, does he suddenly look a whole lot more mortal? He's a whole lot more fragile. He's short and stout. He's like five six and one hundred fifty five pounds. Okay. So he um, hoists the long sword like a baseball bat. <laughs> no, he's got it pointed towards okay. you. Mm -hmm. He takes a moment to recognize your face and says, Carl, why do I... you rouse me from my chambers at this hour? He takes a few steps I... back, puts the long sword down on the table. I've just come from the dice, the dissec farm. Your, your farm, and I look like side to side. I, we we need to. We, can we can we can he, we speak? He uh, walks across the hall to the room on the other, uh, yeah, I'm, or down the I'm hall a little bit, and pounds on a door. I'm visibly like flabbergasted. Yeah. I'm probably like bone white. I'm still like I think I've got my hood on. I'm probably like maybe shivering even. I mean I'm yeah. I'm, I'm I, yeah. I passed my save, which I guess is a house rule. If yes. this were to happen on hardcore heroes, that would uh, be a level drain right there. That would be a level drain right there. But yeah, yeah. house house rules work in favor of the players sometimes. Yeah, it's level drain like... without save is brutal. It's so brutal. I mean, anyway, he walks down the, the the hallway a little bit and pounds on a door and calls for Kel Greller, who steps out. Um, Greller is wearing nothing, uh, <laughs> but has his sword in hand. Okay, I. S All right, I guess I walk towards the two men. And... Uh, is there like a do we go to the war room do we go downstairs what is no the, you guys are just standing in the hallway um i the lady the lady dissect is excavating a a temple was a, excavating a temple uh in your former lands it was buried beneath the earth yes <sighs> I say was because it's it's done. I finished the job this night, and I'm not sure if it was the right thing to do. Speak clearly. What did you find? I don't Gold? know what I saw. Riches? Death. Bodies? No. Worse, something... 
something not quite dead, at least not all the way. Something from another plane. I, I do not know what I, what, the, what Lady Dysek and I have unleashed upon the world, but this is out of my depths. This out is, of your depths, he says angrily. What do you is, mean, out of your depths? This was a temple. I, I. This is. Do you have a cleric we can talk to? I know not what was locked behind those brass doors, but I think I will regret opening them. And I, I think I'm getting more clear having talked about this and suddenly realizing how maybe it was rash to wake the Baron in the middle of the night. What's he walks down a hall, uh, pounds on a door. Some servants come out kind of surprised. Yes, my lord. And he says, grab a horse, head into town. Find Father Rolnat and bring him here immediately. I don't care what he protests. Put him on the horse himself and you can walk back. Hurry! Go! The the peasant, or the servant goes inside, grabs a heavy cloak and runs outside, still in its night clothes, grabs some shoes. At some point, I like as the guy's running out the door, mm-hmm. I like yeah, offer some more information. I, I don't think Dissect knew what was down there. At least not entirely. Probably assumed there was treasure. Hell, probably still is. What level of treasure are we speaking? <laughs> I don't know. I I didn't look past the past the what's the portal? The The Baron orders the other servants that were in that room to get some food, get some drink, light the, get a fire going in the hearth of the war room, light the lanterns in there, prep it for use. Um, and he leads the two of you back to his chambers where he dresses while you, you know, explain further details. Does fucking Greller dress? Yeah, Greller goes in. Well, Greller listens to mm-hmm. this conversation. The Lord dresses. Then he and you stand in the hallway while Greller goes in and dresses. So that way everyone's always part of the conversation. And by the time you guys meet back up in the war room, the peasants have prepped it. It's got a a fire going in the hearth. There's lanterns hanging around. Um, Some carpets have been brought in to keep your feet warm. Uh, And you can hear noise downstairs in what you presume to be a kitchen. Well, says Kel Greller, you do not guard a temple with something from the nether world unless there is something to guard there. Very valuable. Maybe. Do these. I mean, you bury hundreds and hundreds of people beneath the earth, beneath your city, for generations. And then forget about it. I mean, maybe from time to time, one of these one of these souls gets angry. Maybe these things just happen. I think that if well, why would Lady Dysek be di- digging there if there was nothing of value? Do you suspect she would unleash this creature into the world of her own volition? No. Does she seek fair. to control it for her own use? Is this a power grab? Again, that's a question for a priest. Mm. Did you know there was a temple there? He shakes his head. As far as I was concerned, it was a useless, ruined village destroyed by gnolls ages ago. No. Out there in in the plains, on the border of the Tether Wild, buried beneath the monstrous oak tree was a temple 15 feet beneath the earth that's got to be hundreds thousands of years old how Unless long someone have you, buried have it these people been building temples in these in these hills you are not from these lands so you may not know but we've been living people have lived on this continent for thousands of years 
Is it not possible, continues the Baron, that the temple was buried intentionally? Buried to seal away this great evil? I saw no markings on the door to indicate, hey, don't open, we locked away something evil. Or mm. something that you <laughs> would leave behind as a courtesy when you do such things. Astute observation. Although, I scratched my... Maybe I was hasty to open that door. A little too curious, you see. Mm. I figured time was of the essence. We ought to... It will seem to all outsiders as if Lady Dysek opened this tomb. And... But her men... I don't know if any will survive to tell the tale. The world will know that something horrible was unleashed on this night. Not if all her men die, says Kelgreller, kind of coldly. You're right. And maybe this wraith won't even won't even leave the temple. Maybe it will stay there and guard it. I look is there a window that I can like look out mm -hmm. suspiciously? You see the plains oh, before you. The window looks west instead of east, so it's not okay. quite as useful, but you see like little spots of light that from various villages way out in the fields um, some time passes while you guys chat peasants bring up some uh stew from yesterday that there was just left down there um, it's been heated up and after an hour maybe a little less than an hour father Ralnat arrives bundled in warm robes uh hastily thrown together he comes into the war room looking about very concerned like and says my liege why why have you summoned me at this hour what 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 is the situation uh, and he kind of looks to you to explain things which i you know presume you do we don't have to role play the entire you explaining again to a third per to another yeah, person yeah and i'll probably go into more detail into what the thing looked like, mm -hmm. you know, like a, a necromantic power billowing smoke with a, with a human visage the priest looks off concerned. and two piercing red eyes it reached me it touched me and tore and rend my soul do i have a visible wound from the attack or was it just like psychological hp um there was no marking on the outside of you yeah so it's not like there's like a i don't know like a withered spot of skin it's like no. it just like sapped at my life force or something yeah some fucked up shit. Yeah. I try and express that in, his, in a more eloquent way. <laughs> the, the good father. He nods, listens very carefully, uh, and concludes that this, this creature is a dark entity from the negative material plane. That, yeah, that yeah. is just fancy speak for an undead wraith. They are rare only great and malevolent spirits that have passed away in anger resurrect themselves as wraiths so they raise themselves they aren't raised intentionally sometimes usually they're raised themselves that doesn't mean a powerful I Cleric. I I, so I guess I jumped right into this conversation without gauging um, the Baron Song's, like, I don't know. Like, at this point, I guess I pause and try and gauge whether this like, Baron Song seems to trust this priest, or is he just, like, the first cleric he could find? Like, did, probably not Mother Ullman, but I mean, yeah, he's got two clerics cleric? to pull from. So. Is he a cleric, or is he a priest? He's a cleric, yeah. Okay. So I guess, I mean, I, I didn't tell him the details of, like, where I saw the rain. I mean, yeah, I guess we sort of just jumped into, like... Right, you say, I saw this thing, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. And he starts talking about wraiths, and they're mm -hmm. usually undead, them, uh, summon themselves, but they could be summoned by other creatures, or powerful wizards wow. or clerics could even... Could you... Dominate them and control them themselves. Could you turn such a creature... It has been done. I don't know if that's within my power. 
to do so. Uh, I'm telling you that a that a wraith stalks the plains to the east. I look to Lord Song, the Baron Song, for a second, uh, and I mean, I guess I'm trying to gauge permission to like how much I should tell this guy without asking. Maybe I should have talked about this before he showed up, but I guess I didn't think of it. So well, Baron Song also you, didn't say anything yeah. before he showed up. If that helps you with your decision. Okay. Yeah. If Baron, I mean, I guess I give a pause for someone to break in. No one breaks not, in. I'm going to tell, uh, tell the priest or ask the priest. Uh, did you know of a temple? Buried in the tether wilds, and do I know the what was the name of the ga- gavel? Uh, Gimble, garnish, garnish. <laughs> in in the tether wilds, just outside of garnish. Buried. Garnish. That name sounds familiar. Perhaps an ancient temple. The world is very old, and we humans have such a short memory. We can barely remember the events of our own lives, let alone things that happened generations past. There could very well be numerous temples or entire cities buried out in the tether wilds. Probably not oh, cities. This generation, in this time, tonight, that temple just spat a wraith out into the plains. So... I... The mother empowers us to push back these forces of evil. Are you are you confident? I look to his uh, to his bosom. Does he have the interlocked rings of the mother? He does. Hanging around his neck. Mm. Are his like studded at the center? His are not studded at the center. No ones are studded at the center other than other than Friar Morton Bixby's. It's it's the shield for structural integrity. No, it's not. Okay. Um, Are you confident in in these abilities, or I am confident if we do not if we do nothing, the people will suffer. And he kind of gives a look to Baron Song that's maybe a little bit accusatory when he says the people will suffer. Song drums his fingers on the table. This is this is on Dissec land. Perhaps she can sort it out, or we can wait and see. Maybe, maybe this wraith will just stay in the temple. I look, hopefully, to the to the priest. Hmm. Father says. Baron Song, until such time as this Wraith Manor is cleared up, I want you here with me. I will need my advisors close at hand. I will have a servant make up a quarters for you here. He looks to you. You as well. I will need my advisors and my might close at hand. Um, He steps out calls for a, pe- uh, a servant. I don't know why I call the servants peasants. They're not peasants, they're servants. <laughs> it's a different class entirely. Tells him to make up a couple of rooms for you guys and has him show Father Rolnat to his quarters. Uh, once Father Rolnat is out of speaking range, he turns to the two of you and says, if this creature leaves the temple and starts killing people, that leaves the temple wide open for the taking. Is this me and, and Kel Greller and okay. Baron Song? Not the not father. Not father. We're all that. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just making sure. That leaves the temple wide open for the taking. I On have the other the hand, same, I have the same thought. Okay. If this it. wraith stays there, And we clear it out. There will be no question as to who the contents of the temple belong to. I believe even the most cowardly legal scholars would back us on that. Uh, 
Either way, I want you, he says, pointing at you, Georg, and Father Rolnat to go there as soon as you are ready and destroy this spirit and bring back the wealth of that temple. I can send men and wheelbarrows if you believe there's too much to carry in your hands. <laughs> Pressure's on. I don't even... I probably do have my spell books. I said... Maybe I said I left them at home, but I'm like counting up the weight on my character sheet, and it's all pretty reasonable. Okay. I'm trying to see if Ram Ramdal's spell book was not included. That's the one that I'm studying. Let me do my... Actually, my weight allowance is back up, is up to 40 with 10 strength. So I think I'm back to carrying around everything that I've got. I don't know that we established. I mean, we didn't rediscuss this since the last time I declared that I was not carrying spell books. Right. Well, so whatever. If yeah, not, you can go back and get them. I don't think they're... You can... Okay. I don't think it's critical to the plot whether you have them here or not, because if you need them by the morning, you well, can send a peasant like to get them for you. It sounded you. like the Baron was going to make me stay by his side and hold his hand all night. Yeah, but you can send someone to he get your stuff for you. You've got a hole in your roof that they can climb through if need be. <laughs> your spell books are not well protected right now. <laughs> You're making me sad. Yeah, I think that's probably what happens. I like send someone home to climb, or send one of the servants to go climb in the roof, and I like give them super specific instructions. Be careful with it. Don't you dare open it. Mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. God, that poor servant that has to climb them through the, through <laughs> the middle of the night. It's got to like, bring a torch, <laughs> accidentally sets out. fire to the rest of your house. <laughs> Climbing out is the hard part. Yeah. <laughs> Can he climb out? I, don't, I have windows you could climb out of, right? That like just latch normally or something. Um, like yeah, you didn't wizard lock your windows, did you? Um, not yet. But I would eventually, if I had had more downtime, I would wizard lock my windows. I'll do that next time, once I get a roof, my roof fixed. Okay. Um. So yeah, you get a peasant to bring uh, a servant to bring back your stuff. God. Um. And I guess I sleep at the keep that night. Yes. Um. Is it like a slumber? Or do they? Do I get some sleep or did? Does... Uh, yeah, you could get some sleep. Okay. In, like, the war room, or is there a spare bedroom? Are there two spare bedrooms? There are no. multiple spare bedrooms. Uh, there's, actually, you're surprised by the number of spare bedrooms here. This keep looks like it can hold quite a few guests. Mm -hmm. um, and if some of these rooms were converted to barracks, you could mm -hmm. actually have quite the, the force here. It's just really underpopulated. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I immediately get some sleep. If I can find a room with no windows, is that a thing that I could do? Um, no. <laughs> okay. But you can, you know, pull a blanket over your head and sleep in or whatever. <laughs> I was more thinking I'm afraid of wraiths. Oh, oh no. I go to sleep and okay. we'll memorize some spells the next day. Um... Forgot to ask the priest how to kill a freaking wraith, but I guess I'll get a chance to that. I'm just trying to think what spells I can even use that would matter. I'll rememorize knock, which I cast. Um, I before bed I will burn a rope trick to swap it out for. Ooh, I was gonna do wizard lock. I think I'll do past life instead. Okay. That could be fun. Uh, Rememorize another blink. Oh, I should have asked for, can I ask for heals before bed or do I not see the father again? Uh, you could have found him and asked him to heal you. Yeah, I'll like, it, it would have been, In I would have juiced, I would have been like, I'm feeling so faint. The creature just, just clawed at my bones with its it, negative material hands. It touched you? It touched me. It touched my soul. Dear God. He mumbles some words, and uh, warmth flows through you as you gain 5 HP. I could feel him beckoning me towards Falumbra. It was horrible, Father. Hold me, hold me tight. <laughs> Don't worry. The, uh, the divine arts are the truest form of magic. They will protect us all. 
I think that was the first magical healing Georg's talk. I don't know. Managed to beg his way into. What does it feel like to be cured by the light of Martha? It's a cold warmth, if that makes sense. Like it icy does... hot? Hmm? Like icy hot? Yeah, kind of like icy hot. I guess icy I've never. Hot. I don't know icy hot's like, so I, I don't. Oh, sure. It's like I don't. I don't even. Yeah. It's like a warmth that flows through you and kind of like sends a shiver through you at the same time. And there's a, a nice soft blue light that's accompanied by it. Um, mm. Feels oddly pleasant. I've never been like hospitalized such to have an like an IV drip of like, painkillers, <laughs> but the, that's based on the descriptions I've heard in like literature or whatever. That's. <laughs> That's what it sounds like you just described. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, oh, the morphine. Mom, mother's morphine. I'm almost to full, actually. Hmm. Wait, how did that happen? Something went wrong. Um, yeah. You should have just... The damage that you took should have been should undone. Five? Yeah. Am I back to 13? I didn't start that battle at 13, did I? How did I, I? I screwed up my maths, and now it says I have thirteen out of fifteen. Maybe I didn't screw up my maths, but because uh, you were at seven, and then you got another. Yeah, no, you got you went from seven to ten to thirteen, and then you got drained five, and you got added five. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. Thirteen out of fifteen. All right, I didn't realize I was so high in HP. Okay, um, I like that added in HP. Yeah, should I just? Harvest some magic missiles from my own from my own stats and go fight this thing. It's your call. Invisibility. I think if I recharge the invisibility, I get a dex penalty. God, Georg, living your life on the edge. It's that time in the show where we both do bookkeeping. Oh no, I can do seven. I can go invisible. I don't think invisibility helps with undead though, does it? I think that's something you don't know. Hmm. Nah, I'll drain down. I'll add to charge two magic missiles. God, I need so many freaking souls. I'm so weak. So weak in will. And in my and in my body. But I got two magic missiles. I can maybe fight a wraith. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, all right. So it's the next morning. Yes. Or is that just like a batch of attack rolls against poor innocent villagers in the night as they get torn to pieces by a wraith? <laughs> I don't. They didn't stand a chance. They don't get attack rolls. They just die. Right. Um, so I think in the morning I meet up with the father. Yes. The priest. Yes. The He's a cleric. He's a, right? a cleric. Yeah, he so so uh, mother and father are for male and female clerics, and sister and brother are for female and male priests or oh, okay. other things. Mm. Um, yeah, so you wake up. Everyone is gathered downstairs eating food. The soldiers on duty are all whispering about what happened in the night. Um, word has spread of this thing Carl oh. saw. You're yeah, not how sure they, how they how heard. heard. You know, you, you didn't tell anyone directly. Maybe someone else told someone. Maybe they just w were hey, listening at the door. I had to have been the servants. You know. God damn. Someone heard and rumors like, spread. This is just like us passing through town on our way east. Uh, are you headed? I was going to say we're still in in the keep right now. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I thought. I mean. I mean. Are we taking breakfast or what? Do you? Yeah, you're taking breakfast with everyone okay. in the keep. Okay. Um, but I think I'm eager to grab the priest and head back to the excavation site and see what's going on. Okay. Unless, like, something is happening at the key. Nope, nope. Um, but it would be... He doesn't... 
he doesn't seem to be expecting the need to leave anytime soon. He's really? munching and you know talking with the the servants about the ways of the gods and seems maybe a little disconnected from the reality of what's happening here. <laughs> um, I, I mean, so what does he say when I said, like, I guess I wait for him to, like, I'm patient while he finishes his breakfast or whatever. I mean, I, I don't know if he had to mem- pray for spells in the morning, but maybe I came down while they were already partway through breakfast. Mm-hmm. I would have had to spend my time. Yeah. I don't know what it was, maybe close to an hour. I'm not sure how many spells I had. One, two... To yeah, it's probably it was an hour, an hour or so. Okay, so I wait for him to finish his breakfast, and then I'm like, uh, "Father, when when would you like to go and see the temple?" He kind of stops, scratches his chin, and goes, "Stop!" How many people are around at this point? Oh, um, it looks like most of the soldiers that work here. You see the three fresh recruits that you have that you brought over they're sitting at like the far end of the table well away from everyone else there seems to be some sort of hazing ritual going on where they have to sit over there in their underwear having breakfast (laughs) um no one seems to mind Uh the father says we i i have something for just this occasion i was hoping we would never need this but Come with me to my temple. Uh, I, I need to gather my weapon. God, it's been so long since I've used it. And and a scroll. I hope it doesn't come to this. Um, we, we can go today. Well, are you finished? I look, look to our plates. See, He's not quite finished, but he nods okay, and yeah, gets no, up. No, no. Okay. Uh, you know, it's more of a symbolic. Yeah, yeah. There's what's the yeah, point in exactly. finishing my food? Did he ride here on a horse, or did he walk here? He arrived time? here on horseback. Um, a horseback that was taken from the keep. So, okay. so we'll be walking back to town. It sounds like you're both going to be walking back to town. Yeah. Okay. Uh, at some point, I ask him. So, what can harm these wraiths? Magic. Like, magic weapons. Some say silver has an effect on them, but I I think that's a misnomer. I think that's people confusing werewolves and vampires and undead all together in one. It's... Yes. You are a... a wizard of means, right? You have the power to bring down one of these things, if I can slow it or stop it i exhale deeply i don't know i've never seen anything like this but i have i have magic he nods um okay i'm just noting spells for him right now Uh, let me get his spells. I, sh- I need to try really hard to keep this uh, cleric of Martha from spotting my amulet. Actually, I don't know. What do you think? Martha and Malchus. They've got a kid together, don't they? Or is that like oh, they have thing? many children together? Yes. Oh. So is it like an order? Like is is Malchus her second husband? Or is no, no. There's not really. It's not a marriage like, sort of situation. The you know, the gods are just they're just they're just fucking like everyone else. Well, it's also not like a we had sex and we produced this child. It's more of you know, okay. these so gods are the product. Think of like the awesome. sub gods as like the products of two eras. Like where where the um, elemental plane of fire meets the elemental plane of water. You've got like mist in between, and that mist is created by these two sort things. Of like so a platonic ideal ideas, sort of. Yeah, situation. kind of so like when Martha <laughs> bumped up against Malchus, they produced Ephra and Chiss and this and that. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, yeah. Martha deals more in the domain of life, 
uh, order and chaos are both well within the domain of life, life. you know, so she yeah, reaches life, out to both of life them. Is, life can be quite chaotic. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see. So we head back to his temple? Uh, he heads back to his temple. Or so to get back, unless he's like a fat dude or something? Um, or encumbered. No, he's tall. Actually, and... I, I will be in... God, I'm going to be encumbered, aren't I? Yes. With all, if I if they brought all of my books, which I I wouldn't have needed the scrolls, so I guess they would have just left the one book. Okay, I think I'm still in the clear. All right, so I guess at this point it becomes important to know note what you leave behind. Yeah, well, I think I just had them get me uh, Ramdal's spell books so that okay. I could rememorize. I actually would have just needed my own. Past in the right. night. Or is knock in where the fuck are these spells? I think Yeah, knock is in okay, so it's not rambles that I needed. I needed the scrolls. So I would have had to send in any case, Ramble's spell book was not with me. I, I think I leave all of the spell books at that at my house when I get there. I was just trying to figure out if I was encumbered walking back to it. And I wasn't because I wouldn't have. I would have just sent for the scrolls in my okay. spell book. Um, you notice when you're at the temple and Father Rolnack comes out, he has tucked a flail into his belt that goes across his robes. Mm -hmm. Now he's in his like normal robes. Uh, the flail ha is made out of some green metal. It doesn't look like oxidized copper. It looks like something else. It's got a deeper tint to it. Um, mm -hmm. And the the haft Hello. is made out of bronze. But the, the head is made out of some sort of green metal, and the links of the chain are made of that green metal, and it clamps onto the bronze with that same green metal. Is, is the father an old man? He's late 40s, early 50s. 6'3", 168 pounds. Ooh, so tall and lanky. Very lanky. Very kind of gaunt, almost, you could call him. And a scroll? Do I see him grab a scroll, or does he just come out of his? Uh, you see it kind of like tucked into his robes. Now, he wouldn't have gone into his chambers. He would have gone into his um, storage room, right? Storage. Well, he went into the chambers to get dressed, and then he went into the storage I'm room. I'm actually and... looking at the stonework of the temple while he's getting his stuff. I don't think I'll get anything out of it because I don't actually have those relevant proficiencies. But maybe from a storytelling <laughs> perspective, it would matter. Like, does this look similar in construction to the temple that I saw out in? buried beneath the plains or uh it's hard to tell this the stone here is so much cleaner the stone there is really really i mean it's been buried for god knows how many hundreds of years and then people just like shovel dirt away from the walls so it's just dirty stone you didn't you never got a good look at the stonework um okay. this temple doesn't have the columns out front though yeah. so there's at least that difference and this temple also doesn't have the steps leading up to it oh there are steps leading i didn't Quite. Yeah, well, the other one had, like, columns that looked like they went down, and you could... Okay. There was, like, the top two steps were uncovered, but the rest were buried. Okay. So... Uh, are the doors big and brass? Nope, that's a single wooden door. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so there's differences. There are strong differences. Um, the stonework itself cannot be told, as you, you don't have a good look at the other stonework. Okay. All right. All right. So if he's ready, I guess we head east along the road as soon as we can. All right. You go um, east. Uh, bugging there... along the way with way too many questions about fighting undead. So can these creatures see like we do? Would they be affected by... Well... By what? Visual attacks. Visual magics. Can they see? Are they... They see in a different sort of way. They are attached to the negative material plane. They do not really... It is my understanding that these creatures see as well in the night as they do in the day. That it is something else that gives them their sight. They can mm -hmm. see through the hearts of men. I I don't know so if you could blind them. 
It is an interesting question and one I wish not to test. Yeah. Le leave the testings of undead functionality to younger men with <laughs> braver hearts. My... Hmm. He probably, does he not realize how young I am? All I really have got is those magic missiles, so I hope he just nails his turn undead and we can call it a day. I guess even the best you can hope with the turn undead is to chase it into a corner. Yeah. Getting rid of its... Uh... Okay. Um... So... I think that's about, I mean, yeah. Okay. You I, guys... I bug him the way there, I think. I'm right. nervous and trying to learn, but we takes, what, two <laughs> hours or something to walk? Yeah, a couple of hours. Um, you're walking like three miles per hour, so a little over two hours to get there. And then turn off the road, go down the trail, get to the village. He asks you along the way, uh, how it is that you came to find this temple buried under this area? What were you doing here? Did you excavate it yourself? No. The lady's, Lady Dysak has been digging here for some time. And she employed you to inspect her findings? Something like that. Hmm. I, I came, to, came to finish the job. And... Oh, look, flags! I think there's other people here, he says, as oh, he picks shit. up the pace and I starts look, running. I look to the flags and run after And they're, them. like, off in the distance, you know, okay. barely at the edge of you. All right, I, um, I keep up with them then. The flags are just the flags on the tents from the last okay. time you were here. <laughs> I'm he, like, that's, that's, you, the, that's the work camp, I say, as we, like, jogging closer. Do you catch up to him, or do you let him yeah. run across yeah. it first? No, I, catch, I catch up okay. to him. Um, he comes to a stop as he realizes what's going on, and there's just bodies lying everywhere. All right, like, but they're not like they're not bloody, right? They're just like no like, pale, or they're completely pale. Like they're pale, and their skin is pulled tight against them, as if they've had all the moisture drained from them. They look like mummified creatures almost. And there's no soul left. <laughs> no, no, they're they're scattered all over the place in weird places and angles and there's dead animals as well Ugh. he looks about in horror and goes and looks back to you and just you didn't tell me there were casualties i didn't i didn't stay to watch do you blame me it looks like they were eating when it descended on them he says like noting that some guy's right next to a platter of food god Gods be with us. This is looks about. It looks so peaceful. I it was. <sighs> Does this oak tree have any significance to you? It's. I look around, like scanning the plains. Is it the largest tree that I can see? Yeah. I think it marks the site of this temple. Come, the entrance is over here, and I like lead him away. Like, yeah. You lead him back down. Yeah. Is the, the shaft is wide enough for us both to go, correct? Mm -hmm. All the lights so in it light. are out still. But um, I only lit the one lantern, so they right. should be full lanterns. Yep, yep. Somewhere. There are plenty of lanterns so in here that you can I light. light it. Okay. Um, you, did you have a lantern hanging on your staff? Is that this character or is that, that a different was, character? That was Fenric. That was Although Fenric, That seems okay. in line with this guy. I would do that again if it weren't... Uh, if it wasn't something I already did. <laughs> this character is the engineer. But anyways. Right. Um, he had, we had established that it wouldn't be affected by normal weapons, right? Yeah, that's what it seems so to be. I, yeah, I guess my staff is not going to do me much, much good. I'm holding the lantern. Uh, he, as you guys walk down in the lantern, like he mumbles something about that lantern not being bright enough. Um, is I look around, it's, it's plenty... I mean, it's. I mean, it's. It gives plenty of light. Mm -hmm. uh, Can you tell if it's still here? I say as we descend the. He closes his eyes and the shaft concentrates and shakes his head and I, I can't feel anything. 
Does that does he take a minute to actually cast a spell, or was that just him closing his eyes and having a moment? You didn't detect any <laughs> spellcraft going on. <laughs> All right, so we descend the okay. mine shaft. You come back to that same corner, and you see the doors are shut once more. Mm-hmm. I approach the doors and shine the light upon them. He looks and runs his hand over the bronze doors. I like step back and like let With, him like, within. I nod slowly. I may need to open it again. If you'd... I don't think it would have gone back in, do you? I think it's... Out? The These creatures, these wraiths do not... They, they abhor the sun. Hmm. They abhor Loomis and Martha's blessings. They, they prefer the dark with they prefer the areas of Vorasi and Malchus. If one can produce a bright enough light, a light equivalent to the sun, you can sometimes drive them back with it. Alas, I have not learned that spell yet. Um, no. Mm. We only have oil. Do you have such a light? He shakes his head. It's beyond my grasp. I wonder if my color... If they're afraid of light, why, would my color spray do anything? Do you want to find out? Not particularly. I'll probably just stand somewhere that the father can't see and hurl bolts of Malchus at it. Shall I knock? I say approaching the door i don't think it answers to a knock but you can open the door um i tried i guess i try to open the door normally it's definitely shut <clears throat> knock 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 do you while you're standing before it yeah i cast a knock spell okay you actually cast it's just verbal spell. i don't even need to actually knock do you knock though i cast the spell knock but do you knock? Uh, I on think the door. So. Yeah, I, I mean, think it's I, like, dramatic tap, effect. And like as I'm like gong gong, the doors, you know, the loud gongs uh, echo throughout the chamber as the doors squeak open on their hinges, and the roiling mass of black that bubbles up from the ground, the red skull, or I step back behind the father <laughs> moves very quickly from well behind the doors, almost as if it's waiting for you. Uh, you guys roll initiative. I'll roll their initiatives. You roll yours. Oh, I'm doing it independently. Yes, independently. Don't like that die. Thank you. Uh -oh. Ooh, I am not quick on my feet. 12. The father gives a bit of a cry as the wraith descends towards him, reaching out a ghastly hand Is, for his Did neck. I get behind the father? Yes. Am I just going to level drain our, our, the only town priest that's on our side? The wraith reaches his throat. Its hand closes around his neck, and you see a little bit of life drain away from the father. Oh. Sorry, um, and you hear him cry and just kind of like shiver. A, sp a patch of hair in the back of his head goes stark white. Shit. Alright. Um, the father goes before me, I assume? Yes. Hold on. Oh, God. <laughs> level <laughs> drain success. <laughs> I just level drained your NPC. You just level drained your own NPC. He might have a... Depending on what his level is, he may have a way to reverse it. Or he may just be permanently lower level. Um, his spell is interrupted, and as he fumbles... As he, like, stumbles back and reaches into his uh, cloak and starts to pull out this scroll and stops and says, uh, Gaor, or Carl, distract it! I need a moment! Um, it's your turn. His spell was interrupted. Yeah, I was, so am I just behind him still, or do I need to back up further? You can back up further. He's, like, taken a hit and kind of fallen back a little bit and scrambling along the ground trying to get away. I think, I, I think we've, like, scrambled side forward. Side, yeah. Like back to back i want to be just behind him so that he he's not looking to me is he no his eyes are I, transfixed on the monstrosity hand, before like, him in, into my robes clutching the amulet and i point my 
fingers spread wide at the at the wraith and shoot five magic missiles at it. Give me a damage roll. Ooh, money shot. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> if you ever needed a 23 damage on that, now Too is the time. Max. That was nice. You don't get rolls like that very often, boys. All right. You spatter the wraith with I magic missiles. That's a good thing. I think I just pissed it off. And as they hit them, you see like vapor just kind of evaporates off of him, and the cloud that was this tall, tall wraith is slightly smaller. The wraith kind of shrinks down in size, its big glowing red eyes staring at you hauntingly. Initiative. Is turn undead a one round, a full round I think it's action? A full round action. Oh my god. God, I should have got him. I should have had him. St I wasn't expect. I thought it would still be out of the. Okay, what are you doing? I roll, I roll a seven. I think I've got to do the same thing again. I feel like such a coward for like relying on the amulet for the whole battle, but it's the only direct damage I have. I could do things like blink, but it seems like the father is the one that. And occurring in the character's turn in the initiative order, thus the undead may get a chance. Okay, okay so you, you roll okay. for initiative. All right, and cool. you, okay, yeah, there's an, an initiative, right? It may even have a special initiative modifier above and beyond the... Um, is but, it not just a three? Is it something different? I don't know. Standard modifiers to initiative. <laughs> Here we go. Netney says he was he was joking when he said the session should go on for nine hours. <laughs> um, nope. Innate spell like ability is what I expect turn on dead is like. It's oh, not. Okay. Yeah. So it's okay. three for initiative. Um, what did you get? Uh, seven. Seven. Yeah. You go first. Okay. So I think hopefully the father is still facing the creature, fumbling with his holy symbol. Mm -hmm. Will I reach for? A my unholy symbol and shoot off another volley of missiles give thanks it for, thanks for tanking father only 17 this time bringing us to 40 total damage 17 I need to 17 is more than enough the missiles scatter against the wraith and it evaporates before you I, disappearing I entirely of the amulet quickly back beneath my robes it's too late it's the father is looking at you with eyes and mouth agape in utter horror. Ah, fuck. <laughs> ah, fuck. Carl! What? What is that? <sighs> Desperate times, father. No. He reaches for his mace and pulls it out. Ah, fuck. Okay. Um, all right, I cast the spell then. All right, yeah. roll initiative. Um... I'm casting blank. Seriously? Oh, God. Does he do well? No, he rolled a 10 on his initiative plus flail. Okay. Well, I think either way, I'm, um, okay, I'm, I roll an 8, so my blink goes off, but it doesn't start until next round, right? Right. Flail. Footman's flail. Speed Ooh, factor 6. Okay. Um, can I escape the or he takes I... a step forward. I cast color spray, <sighs> swinging his flail. Yeah, like I, there's, I mean, I'm backing up. I'm like scrambling, like trying to get a good defensive position. But I don't boom! Know. The flail crashes into you. Fucker! Back, devil! Back, demon! Oh, I knew there was something head. about you that I did not like. He cries as the flail hits you for four points of damage. Mother, think reason. I just saved your life. You unleashed this demon upon the world. You are the one. Sorry, say, say the damage again. Four. Four. You are the evil here. Mother, give me the strength to defeat this beast, he says. Okay, so at initiative two, I cast a color spray. Okay, hold on. What spells did you mem? And then at initiative eight, my blink okay. goes off. You cast color spray at initiative two? 
What? Yeah. And Damn. Gonna, I rolled a one. <laughs> um, if he is, if he is, hit dies are less than or equal to. Less than or equal to what? All creatures above the hit die of the caster or of sixth level or six hit die. So if he's level six, God. if he's level, uh, all those. Color spray is above, so broken. So he, all those above, yeah, if he's level six. He doesn't even get a save. He just falls unconscious. If he's lower than level six. Mm -hmm. All right. He falls unconscious before you. And I harvest the priest's soul? That's not where I saw this going. God damn it, father. Do you I harvest mean, his soul? I, Do you yeah, reach out that I'm... shining dagger? Tainted black with blood. I've got two rounds to come to grips with this. Actually, I... Why, Father? I didn't want to do this. If only you'd seen reason. I will charge the amulet with one invisibility. I don't think I can... I'll charge with one invisibility and one magic missile. And drain. And then, yeah. And then turn upon the Father and try and come up with a way to make it... To, be able to blame it on the wraith. Is there any remains of the wraith? Is there like a skull? It's sitting? as if it never existed. Oh my god. I am the wraith. Um. God. How do I I'm gonna take I'm gonna pause for a second and think about this. Um, All right, I'm just going to count in real time as in-game time until you say you harvest the wraith. Because I know how long he's unconscious for, so yeah. I should have started it a while ago. Well, I have two rounds at least. And so I, the first round was harvesting my... Or not harvesting. Uh, charging my amulet. Charisma. So you're just standing over this body. Not sure of what to do. Like I, he's, if I let him live, he's just going to be a dumb, dumb, dumb ass. Given me no other choice. There's no, there's no way to, if I put the, what if I put the amulet in his mouth? I think, yeah. You try it. Oh my god! Does he look? He does he look like he got hit by a wraith? His hair went white, but I. Oh god! Oh, and there's all the bodies upstairs. Yeah, I try. I try it. I try to place it like on his tongue. What happens if I harvest the soul of a priest of Martha? <laughs> I guess we're about to find out. Nothing happens. When Nothing I happens it on, on the tongue. tongue. Wanted to have. I thought I had a priest buddy on my side. No, is he wearing like robes or something? Mm -hmm. I split his robes and split his belly and harvest his soul. Do I get zapped by Martha? No. Do I get double dose of souls because nope. he's a he's a holy man? Nope. Nope. I just get my stats back. Yep. Yeah. Father Omen. <laughs> you notice rolling out of his robes as you open them is a scroll. Uh, looks like a magic scroll. Uh, okay. It is clearly a scroll of pro um, protection from undead. Hmm. Should have cast it, dumbass. Although I guess that wouldn't have. Scroll of Protection from Undead and a Magic Flail. I yes. will probably bring that back to Grand Song. Are there other priests at the temple that will? All right, we'll worry about the the aftermath next session. So you tuck the the flail somewhere? Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Where do you put it? Um. Oh, you're right. It might be holy. Um, I think I tuck it. Uh, in my belt. Okay. So there's a robe between the amulet of 
Martha and the flail. In fact, I'm probably about to cast a detect magic. Maybe even a true seeing. I could have cast a true seeing. If I was smart, I would have cast true seeing, recharged true seeing, and gotten the stat points back for free. Mm -hmm. But I I fucked up. I'm still new to this soul harvesting game. It's okay. Uh, That's all he had on him? Um, He had his flail, his scroll. He had... We have all this prepared ahead of time. Um, You find a pouch, and when you open it up, there's just some weird dust in there. There's some clothes and his holy symbol of Martha. Okay. I head into the temple. Time is ticking. I've got like five minutes to scour this place. Before? Before the knock spell wears off. Mm -hmm. And I... No, I can't even risk that because... uh, Maybe I could blink back through the door. All right, but you I would walk have no way out in, and I don't even have my spell book to memorize. <laughs> you walk in. Mm-hmm. Um, it's cold down here. Maybe, maybe it's not more cold than it was on the other side. Maybe it's just your imagination. Mm-hmm. Um, this doesn't definitely doesn't look like any of the temples you've seen around these days. It's a single open room um, with a door, a small door, on the other end of the hall. There is a single statue in the center of the room. And as you approach it, you recognize Malchus. Almost like he put this here for me. Maybe I should use that true seeing. Um, I look for. I've got. I guess I go back to the lantern. I've still. I've always had the lantern. Yeah, you can bring the lantern with, with you around me. Um, and I look for writing for epic loot. You said there's another door on the other side of the room. Mm-hmm. Um, as you shine the lantern around, you see cobwebs everywhere. You see uh, it's kind of a thin layer of dust covering everything. It looks surprisingly sparse. There's little alcoves all around, which you presume might have once held statues to other gods, but they're small. They're really small, like um, like the size of a desk lamp. Small. Mm-hmm. You know, no more than a foot and a half high. So maybe small statues to other gods. And here's this, you know, six foot statue of Malchus before you, kind of in the center of the room. Mm-hmm. I cast a detect magic. Um, the statue in the center of the room is magical. Uh-huh. Any? Um, the amulet, no, not the amulet. Um, the flail at your side is magical. Mm-hmm. The you, did you pick up the scroll? I put yeah, I pocketed the scroll. It's a magic scroll. Yeah, death. death. All right, anything mad? Uh, just the statue, and then there's a door. Is the door locked? I approach, approach the other door. Uh, as you approach, you are able to see more clearly that it's made of wood and it's mostly rotted away. Okay. Uh, it seems it. to be locked, but you can reach to the other side and, mm-hmm. you know, you could probably kick it down if you wanted, but it's still shut and partially rotted. I quickly head into this back room. Okay. Illuminating the way before me. In the back room, covered in a thin layer of dust, are tre- treasures... Many, many treasures. How many treasures? You find on a stone table just a pile of coins. Enough coins to hide a dragon under, some people might say. But really not. But really not. Maybe a baby dragon. I don't know. It's on the order of like 5,000 coins, somewhat evenly split between silver and gold. Dang. Um... You also see tucked into the the stack of coins, there are there are two vials of things. I do have a detect magic active, by the way. Um, then you detect a magic shield sticking out from kind of like the coins are resting mostly on the shield or partially on the shield, part of the shield sticking out. Mm-hmm. You detect two potions. Um, you see a scroll that radiates magic as well. Um, and the potions and, are magical as well? Yes. Dang, epic loots. Pulling out my word document. Hold on a second. Um, and as you kind of shift the coins about to see what else is in here, you come across a uh, gem-encrusted bracer. Is that magical? No. No? Just just an art object or something? Yes. Um, a golden scepter. 
Should I be writing these down? Um, I'm writing them down right now. We can probably deal with it offline or whatever. Okay. Uh, I mean, I think, I mean, unless there's, unless like a wrench gets thrown in the works, I will probably turn over the material wealth to Lord Song and not try to trick him. But the magic items I will take more careful note of and probably probably just nab them and maybe tell them about them later, depending on what they are. Okay, so there's a gem-encrusted bracer, a golden scepter, and two platinum cups. Okay. Um, in terms of art objects, plus 5,000 coins, roughly, scattered about, plus mm -hmm. two potions, and a magical shield, and a magic scroll. Mm -hmm. um, and you are just one man. No, I'm, that's why I'm, I'm taking the magical items and I'm leaving the wealth behind. Okay. So... Are you taking the shield as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll grab the shield. God, why is word so slow? Temple of Malchus. Not Malchus. Lutes. All right. Um, for now, I'm going to grab magic shield, magic scroll, two potions. Mm hmm. Are they the same or different? No, very different. In fact, one of them is definitely, it's like in a glass vial, which is unusual. Usually potions are in ceramic vials or something. This one's in a glass vial. And it's got mm -hmm. this like bubbly blue stuff going through it that continues to bubble. Um, and the other mm -hmm. is more similar to like a, a test tube, also made out of gl uh, glass. And inside it is this kind of reddish orange fluctuating color. And it looks less like a... A potion and more like some sort of oil. Mm -hmm. um, both of them are stopped with uh, a glass stopper that somehow just seals in quite nice. You you expected fingernails on the chalkboard sound if you try and pull the stopper out. Okay. All right, so the shield scrolls and potions are the only magic I detect, aside from the statue. I leave the loot where it is, and I want because I want to get out of here before the knock expires. Mm -hmm. I mean, if the knock unexpires, maybe I'll rethink things. But I take one last look at the statue, I guess, as I leave. Does it? It looks like Malchus. I don't even know what that looks like. Is that like a? It's a human with like um, eyebrows and spiky hair. A tall know. man. <laughs> with uh, a long, not a, not a long beard, kind of like almost like a Leonidas esque beard, mm -hmm. and short cropped hair, uh, and kind of wild eyes that are a little bit too wide open, like uncomfortably wide <laughs> open eyes mm -hmm. that seem to follow you. Which clearly they're not. Like they're clearly looking at the same spot. Maybe it's just the wraith. Maybe, maybe it's just the fact that you drained a priest. Yeah. All right. Speaking you... of, I drag the father's corpse back to the surface. What do you do with it once you break to the surface? I take a moment to like pause and look at like the. He's clear. Like I, he's got now got like a his robes torn open and like a hole in his gut and blood everywhere. You know, some of his entrails came out when you like to put your fist in and pull it out. You know, things come out with it. I I think I just pull him up into the camp. Mm -hmm. I tried. I mean, like I set I set him a little aside from the rest of the bodies, but he's. I mean, he, he clearly died differently, but he's now with. I leave him with the uh, with the rest of the carnage, and I probably put like a sheet over him or something. Maybe it's something respectful. If it's not convenient, then I don't even worry about it and start the long walk back to town even longer because I am uh, encumbered with all this magic loot. Okay. God. And I guess that's probably a good spot to wrap up. Um, do we want to get back to town uh, first? Yeah, I, I have a, just a few little things I'd like to wrap up on. Um, yeah. So what do you do when you get back to town? I think I go straight to the keep. Okay. You make your way to the keep. Um, there are scouts looking for you coming. The doors are open by the time you get there. And Baron Song, Kel Greller, all the men at arms, all the servants have gathered outside 
the servants are kind of farther yeah, back, but everyone is gathered I'm not, around. Like, I'm clearly like carrying a shield mm-hmm. and a flail. Yes. What's what's on the shield? Um, it, it has a red border. It's like a kite shield. It's got mm-hmm. a red border around the edges, and it has a large hammer emblazoned on the front of it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's made out of copper, which doesn't seem to have been oxidized, although you know many years have passed, clearly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the backing where you put your arm through is some sort of unusual leather. Def- definitely not cow leather. Mm-hmm. Um, some, some other hide of some animal. Maybe displacer beast hide. Who knows? <laughs> I I think I would know if it was displacer beast hide, right? Would I recognize it as a spell, as a spell component, or is that not something that's innate? I don't think that's innate. But I have to cast conjure spell component and see if it teleports out of the, <laughs> into my hand. Um, I don't know how you would tell. You might have to just like get some displacer beast hide and look at the two side beside. I don't think you've ever seen displacer beast hide. It's yeah. probably not. It's just probably some other form of hide, but it could be. You never know. Lord, Di- uh, not Dysek. Lord Song steps forward and says, Father Rolnat. I shake my head and like hand him the butt of the father's flail. He takes it. Tucks it mm. into his own belt. <laughs> <laughs> the wraith is gone. Dispelled from this plane. There is... There is treasure that I could not carry, and I like... How like, much? He says, raising an eyebrow at you. I, like, look around self-consciously to, like, the servants stuff that are The servants us. are a little bit farther away. The men-at-arms are kind of close. It's really just him, Kel Crystal, and Kel Geller, Greller, who are all kind of... A couple, a couple thousand coins, silver and gold, and some... Finery, gem encrusted knickknacks. He nods I'd, and no. gives Kel Greller a nod. Kel Greller whistles, and a couple of servants, you know, get some wheelbarrows and start or start attaching a, a cart to an oxen, and he mounts up. Mm. And just while you're still like explaining on, what's I, going on, did these... the door ever shut after the knock spell expired? So it, it did like, not. once the wraith is dead, it seems like it just stays open. Yeah. Okay. Um, it seems like they've already they're prepared for this expedition, and <laughs> Kel Greller immediately starts leading the servants who are pulling carts Shit. that are drawn by oxen. There's there's a lot of bodies. I say, should I look to like those are just like peasants going with Kel Greller, right? Yeah, the servant class, but you know, normal civilians. I are these men you can trust. I... The Wraith killed them. No? What's to trust? I mean, these these servants. The they will bring the wealth back intact. I shake my head. Some things cannot be unseen. He puts his hand on your shoulder and says, unusually loudly, loud, definitely loud enough that the servants can hear you. Mm-hmm. You have righted a great wrong of Lady Dysek. <laughs> she unleashed a horrid beast upon our lands, and Father Ralnat gave his life to right her wrongs. I'm not solemn. Well done, Ark Carl. <laughs> oh God! All right. At some point, I'll tell him that the I, I mean the shield is magical. Um, and I don't, I don't know. He. What, just he takes it. Takes it, or if yeah. He, take it. he doesn't even offer to let you keep it. He's just, oh, thank you. Sets it down yeah, next to himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you too should be rewarded with some of this. Say, ten percent. I'm. Nod. I... Well done. Seems, seems fair. <laughs> not even, but whatever. Okay. I don't, I'm not particular. I guess. I guess maybe I should be more concerned with money because it can fund wizardly endeavors, but I don't think Georg is particularly concerned with money. I don't tell him about the magic scroll or the potions. Do you tell him about the Statue of Malchus have... or anything else? Oh. He, he asks for a description, like, what what was it like, and yada, yada, yada. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I tell him about it. A, yeah, There's a visage of, of Malchus in there at the centerpiece of this temple. Okay. 
Um, I, I do not know who built it or why Lady Dysak would strive to uncover it. He asks you to stay and hang out with him and sup, you know, wait, come, wait for everyone to come back. We'll throw a feast tonight. We've done well. You know, this is an event to be celebrated. Um, okay. And you can just spend the rest of your day in study, learning your spells. Um, okay. That night, or that later that afternoon, when the others come back, um, they come back with a slightly different story. Kel Greller is talking about the giant statue of Verasi in the center of the temple. And apparently some of the servants who were there saw Martha, or saw Reluna, or saw Rule. <laughs> And everyone's uh, coming back with a slight... Not everyone, but a lot of people saw a different statue standing in the middle. And the reason they're they so late is because else. they were arguing over... Can't you see? It's clearly... Look! These, these are her bosom! This is No, no, no! That's a sword! You know, and there's like... People are a little bit freaked out over the statue that appears differently to different people. I wish I had sorted that out before revealing that I saw it as Malchus, but I think uh, Aaron's song doesn't, well. There is a feast that night. It's uh, it's openly discussed that yes. how Greller saw Verasi. Uh, no. But that that was that mentioned person. from mm -hmm. him to you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You in know. Confidence. Yeah. He wasn't engaging in an argument. With you him. don't hear other people talking about it, about him saying that, but you get the impression that he came in and said, wow, what a statue of Verasi. And other mm -hmm. people started saying otherwise, and then he just kind of shut up. Mm -hmm. um, it's an interesting point, and probably something that is intentionally not being discussed in front of you or or Kel Greller or any of these other people. Um, it's definitely a weird thing. Uh, you guys feast that night. It's wonderful. They slaughter new sheep. Everyone eats delicious food. Um and as everyone's been drinking and kind of freely carrying on and celebrating the death of Father Rolnat <laughs> in a horrible, horrible way, at some point, Greller catches you aside, maybe when you're getting up to use the privy or something, and he levels you with his look. Mm -hmm. He wasn't there when I said I saw Malchus. Nope, so he... nope, he wasn't. Mm -hmm. And he says, I saw what happened to those gnolls. And then walks away. Uh -oh. <laughs> and on that note, why don't we end this week's session of Dicing with Death? Um, experience. Experience. We'll be playing again on the 7th, I believe, because Ryan has a big conference to go to. Maybe on the 7th. You looked. No? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll definitely be back by okay. then. I'll be back like now. I'll be gone like Monday through Friday. Okay. So. We'll play by the 7th, if not sooner. Let's dole out some experience. Um, yeah. Let's use our handy dandy calculator. Um, to get the proper experience. None of this old second edition bull crap. Uh, what is that? At least I don't have to split experience with Father Relnat, am I right? Yeah. Fine. Uh, AC 16, hit bonus 5, number of attacks 1, damage is low, intelligence is very... Oh, it's still normal. Um, energy drain, undead, fly, minor regeneration. <laughs> um, Praise Malchus. Plus 1 weapons only. Um, no magic resistance. Okay. All right, so that is... I probably could have got away without even showing what song the shield. Probably, but what would you do with the shield? Yeah, yeah. All right, so that's... Well, I have a henchman one day. Maybe I'd want to give him a shield. That's true. 3,000 for the wraith. Um... Now, here's the question. Father Rolnat started as level four and was level three when you <laughs> killed him. So I think you I only think get level get... three experience. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Split it with the Wraith. And, and some yeah. Um, plus, you did the Knolls that oh, way yeah. earlier in the session. Feels like forever yeah. ago. A long night. Um, you defeated a whole pack of Knolls, but there's that Knoll leader. 
Um, but Greller was there to help. Yeah. Let's give you that for the gnolls. Plus the gnoll quest in general has finally been completed. Scare off the gnolls for a good while. You dug up all the dissect treasure and finished that whole dissect quest line there. Mm -hmm. uh, and I cast a bunch of spells. That's worth combat. that. I think the spell XP is going to be insignificant compared to everything else, but you can figure it out. If you can it's figure out how many better. how many levels of spells you ca cast in combat. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start keep keeping track of this during the session. Um, has to reduce. Okay. Some nice... Colors there. Your relationship with Kel Greller has developed and turned very interesting, I think. Yeah. I don't know what to make of it yet, but that's definitely an interesting point that I am excited to see how it goes. Mm -hmm. I didn't um, get to cast past life on the Wraith Corpse. Um, uh, there's at least a couple hundred experience, right? Is it worth adding up? I'm, I'm lazy. So lazy. Two blanks is 300. That can't be right. I can't have added that up right. I think it's like, it's at least 400. I don't get experience for the magic missiles, guys. Do I get experience for the knocks? Those are problems, right? Yeah, those are, pretty, those are good. Knock. Yeah. So 500. I don't think Detect Magic does anything for me. It's 50 XP per spell level. Right. Yeah, so I'm at 500. Now let's just call it 500. Whatever. 500 experience for spell levels? Yeah. Plus 7,050 for everything else brings you to 7550 Ooh. times 1.1. 1. 1. Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry, that's not everything. Ooh. Um, one I didn't put in any role playing experience for that. Okay. At this point I'm level leveling up, so it's not a huge okay. deal. And I should get a new spell. Times level, right? Are we doing Yeah, that? times uh, you get ten percent bonus for high int. Yeah. So all said and done, you get a ridiculous amount of experience for today's session. I killed a wraith. You killed a wraith. wraith. And, and yeah, oh, I should have split the null experience a little bit. Yeah. Hold on, let me subtract yeah. some of that. Um, all right, let's bring that down to let's just make it an even 1100 then. 11,000. 11,000, an even 11,000 after your 10% and everything. Bringing me to 45, 567, and leveling me to level six. There is no experience for the spell book. You didn't get a spell book I have, today. Yeah, I haven't learned a spell yet. Yeah. Um, and oh yeah, so we'll end after the that night of festivities. Mm -hmm. I will um, roll a d4 for HP. One derp, derp, -a derp, -a derp. Bring me to sixteen max HP. The, the um, stolen spellbook was last session, guys, and he doesn't get experience for stealing. I well, do have a proficiency yeah. in daggers now which is pretty cool. I can start using Carl in combat. And I think that's about it. I mean, I should get a new spell, which maybe, which I think I would like to be deep pockets if you're amenable to that. You told us to remind you to give him experience for taking the spell book last time. Did I not give you experience for giving him a spell book? Uh, unless you guys were talking about it during like a campaign planning session. I don't remember. I don't know. Story. Whatever. It's eleven hundred is enough for him today. Yeah, eleven thousand. Eleven thousand is enough. Spells, not as I get the spell. Yeah. Right. All right. It's time to wrap it up. It's been a long session. It's been a very long session, and we got shenanigans in like eleven hours from now. Not even mm -hmm. ten and a half hours. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll um, unfortunately be bowing out to get ready for my travels. That's fine. You've got have fun. I think Morton is heading to the capital to help Borsch track down his wife mm. or maybe tracing after Borsch. Maybe Borsch doesn't want Morton with him. Yeah. Spoilers. Spoilers. All right. So thanks for watching guys. Thanks for playing Ryan. Today was fantastic. Yeah. yeah this is a fun session. Yeah. A lot of, 
a lot of sh- a lot of shit shit that can't be unseen yeah. or unimagined or i feel like i feel like we tied up a lot of loose ends today or at least you know tied them up enough yeah. that they can be pushed out of the way and mm-hmm. have plenty of room for the story going forward yeah all join, right yeah join us next time for some this place or bees hunting Ooh, more, you, more political intrigue. You might be strong enough to finally get yourself a displacer beast. All right. Take care, everybody. Good night. Goodbye. Ta-ta. Bye-bye.